and I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. Last week, Bitcoin lost 220 billion in market cap in a single flash crash. Everybody panic! Is this the end of the bull run? Where the hell's the rest of it? Or is this just a correction? Hold up. Why did the market crash and what's behind it? Well, watch this video to find out why the market's been overreacting and I'll give you my predictions later on on what's gonna happen next. Remember, if you find this content useful, to give it a thumbs up and drop me a comment down below and follow me for more insights. Let's dive in. If you've been watching the charts, then you probably noticed that Bitcoin's price plummeted over 11% in the space of a few hours last week, from $103,000 down to $92,000. That's over 220 billion in market cap vanished. Poof. It was a big move, and naturally everybody's asking the same questions. Why did it happen? What does this mean for Bitcoin moving forward? The answer is that it means nothing. It means nothing. Hey, everybody just calm down. Okay, let's start with the big one, liquidations. If you're new to crypto, here's what you need to know. Lots of people trade Bitcoin with leverage. That means that they're borrowing money to increase their spending power. When they do this, they also face the risk of being liquidated. Basically, they're gambling in the market on how high Bitcoin's price can go, but with somebody else's money, which is great if they win, they can win big. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. But if they lose, i.e. the prices dip below a certain point, then their positions will get automatically closed out to prevent further losses for the person that lend them the money. It's like being in a casino when they cut off your credit when you're on a losing streak. And cut you off. Well, that's exactly what happened last week. Billions in leveraged Bitcoin positions were liquidated in a matter of hours. That's a massive amount of full selling pressure hitting the market all at once. Think of it like a snowball rolling down a hill. As one position gets liquidated, it causes a price movement which triggers further liquidations and suddenly that small market dip turns into a full-on crash. This is often called a liquidation cascade and it's something that we've seen before in previous Bitcoin cycles. Now you might be wondering, why were there so many leveraged positions in the market in the first place? Well, it's because traders got greedy. When Bitcoin crossed that $100,000 psychological milestone, everybody wanted in on the action. But instead of just buying spot Bitcoin, lots of traders took out leveraged long positions on futures contracts. But here's the problem. When too many people are on one side of a trade, it creates an imbalance. If Bitcoin's price even slightly pulls back, then all those leveraged positions become very vulnerable. When the market gets too crowded with leverage, it's like stacking dominoes and it only takes a small push to make the whole stack fall over. And that's pretty much what we saw last week. An initial dip triggered mass liquidations, which then set the Bitcoin price tumbling even further. Another key reason for the initial dip is something a bit more simple, profit taking. Let's face it, $100,000 is a nice big round shiny number, and lots of investors will see it as a natural point to cash out some profits. When these big orders hit the market, it increases the selling pressure. And because the crypto market is so emotional and momentum driven, Lots of traders will see these red candles start to form and they'll panic sell as well. It's the classic scenario of everybody running for the exit at the same time. Now profit taking alone isn't usually enough to cause a crash like this, but it certainly added fuel to the fire. Now this next point might surprise you. There were also some external factors influencing Bitcoin's price. One of the big ones was a concern about quantum computing. Yep, you heard that right. Last week, Google made headlines with this new quantum computing chip called Willow. It's a major step forward in computing power, and it made some people ask the question, could quantum computers one day crack Bitcoin's encryption? Now let me be clear, Bitcoin's security and encryption is still considered safe, and the experts believe that we're still a long way off quantum computers posing a real threat in this way. But in the world of crypto, perception matters. Fear, uncertainty, and doubt, or also known as FUD, can move the markets just as much as actual events and news. So while this might not have been the biggest factor in Bitcoin's drop last week, it certainly added to the negative sentiment. All right, so we know the reasons behind the market crash last week. Liquidation cascades, overleveraged traders, profit taking, and some FUD around quantum computing. But the big question is, what happens next? Well, if you've been around the crypto market long enough, then you know that these corrections are just a normal part of business. Bitcoin is still in a larger bullish trend and corrections like these actually help the market reset. Too much leverage and euphoria can push the markets up too high too fast. So while it might be painful to watch, these dips clear out the week and set the stage for more sustainable growth. Looking ahead, the analysts are still bullish on Bitcoin. In fact, they're saying this is just a healthy correction on the way to even higher prices. But as always, keep an eye on those leverage ratios. If we see too much leveraging building up again, then we could see another liquidation cascade like this one. And if you're trading with leverage yourself, then be really careful. 
It's a powerful tool, but it can cut both ways. So the biggest question is, how can you take advantage of this knowledge? What do you need to do to protect yourself against these crashes? Well, the answer is that you need to take all emotion out of the trading process. Use free tools like Arrow Algo to automate your trading strategy. If there's a crash, your stop losses or your trailing take profits will kick in, and you can set your strategy to buy the dips and take advantage of these corrections. I'll leave a link in the description below, you can go and check it out. If you found this video helpful, then do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll be breaking down all of these market moves so you can stay informed and stay ahead of the game. Drop me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Is this a healthy correction? And how high do you think the price of Bitcoin can really go? Thanks for watching, stay safe, happy trading, and see you next time.